Action. It is Thanksgiving Day at the Anderson's house. Mom is bustling around the kitchen preparing food while Dad is extending the table and gathering chairs. I'm short one chair, Becky. Can you run to the storage room and grab one more folding chair? Sure, Dad. Who's all coming to our house again? It will be the four of us, Uncle Ben, Aunt Linda, your cousin Parker and Avery, and Grandpa and Grandma Anderson. You actually need three more chairs, don't you? There, there will be 10 people here, and there are only seven chairs at the table right now. We can only fit eight people comfortably around the dining room table. You and Parker will s sit at the counter. What? That's not fair. I don't want to. I don't want to have to sit with Parker. She's so whiny. She won't leave me alone. Action. Becky's older brother Garrett enters the room. Welcome to my world. That's exactly what I've been saying about you for the past 10 years. Be quiet, Garrett. It's not fair that I'm stuck with sitting at the counter. I'm older than Parker and Avery. I should get to sit at the table. Avery is too little to sit on a stool by the counter. She's only two years old. We will need to put her booster seats in a regular chair besides she will need help with her food. <laughs> That's enough, Garrett. If you say another word, you will be sitting at the counter with Parker. I need an extra pair of hands in here. Who has a minute to help me peel the potatoes? Becky already has a job. No, wait, yeah, Garrett, go. Becky can, can do it. Becky already has a job to do. I asked her to go get the extra folding chair for me. It looks like you're the only one who isn't already doing something. Head to the kitchen and start peeling the potatoes, pal. Ha, serves him right. Go. A few hours have passed and now it is close to dinner time. The doorbell rings and Garrett, Becky and Garrett race to the door. Ouch! You don't have to be so rough, you know. Mom enters the room, drying her hands on a paper towel. They are bickering as usual. Here, let me take your coat. Reminds me of me and my older brother when we were younger. Boy, do I wish you were still alive to talk with kids. You know, after Thanksgiving, how about the two of you trying to be thankful for each other today? Chances are good that someday you'll actually miss each other. I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but what... We'll try, Grandpa, just for you. Good. Mm, the aromas are coming from that kitchen. Are tantalizing. In fact, my mouth is watering. Can I help you with? Can, what can I help you with, Maggie? Well, I was just getting started on the getting started on the gravy. Do you want to help me with that? Certainly. Mom and Grandma walk towards the kitchen where Becky, Gary, and Grandpa go. Who's living room to watch the football game? 
About 10 minutes later, we're going to buy the rings again. No one knows. Action! Mom and Grandma walk towards the kitchen while Becky, Garrett, and Grandpa go to the living room to watch the football game. About 10 minutes later, the doorbell rings again. No one moves. Last time you two raised to the door, and this time nobody wants to answer it. is behind that door, right, Garrett? Fine, we'll answer the door. Mom and Dad reach Mommy. the door at the same time. Take a deep breath and mark the game. Come here, open it, come here, from here to ear. How was your trip, Parker? I thought we would never get here. Why do you have to live so far away? Where's Becky? She needs to play with me. Becky Parker is looking for somebody to play with. But I'm watching this football game. I packed the suitcase full of Barbies for us to play with, Becky. <clears throat> Becky, play with your cousin. You can watch football later. Uncle Ben has Linda in the entrance to the house. Wow, is Parker ever excited to arrive? Parker, next time make sure that I have finished parking the car before you hop out. Okay, Daddy. I was just so excited about playing Barbies with Becky. We're going to go play right now. No, Becky, you are such a good help. We're going to play Barbies with Parker. No, I suppose I don't mind. Action! The entire family has just sat down to eat dinner. Becky and Parker are sitting on the stools by the kitchen counter while the rest of the family is sitting by the dining room table. Here's some potatoes, Becky. Would you like to put some on Parker's place too? Becky, don't say stupid potatoes on Parker's place. some stuffing, Becky. Becky puts a helping of stuffing on her own face and then puts a small scoop on her face. Ah, I didn't want that. Mommy, Becky put something gross on my plate. I want it off my plate. Parker, if you don't want to eat it, you don't have to. Just push it aside. No, I want it off my plate. Here, I'll take it off the plate and add it to my own. I love stuffing. What's 
I don't want to eat this turkey. I keep thinking about the book we read in preschool where the turkey is trying to escape from the farm so that he doesn't get eaten by the farmer. The turkey on my plate didn't escape from the farmer. <laughs> The meal is over and everyone has begun to clear the table. Oh look, I found the wishbone. B Parker, Peck, and Becky. Would you like to do the wishbone tradition this year? Sure. What's that? Both of you, both of, both of you grab one of end of the wishbone and make a wish. Then you both tug on the wishbone until it breaks. However, whoever ends up with the largest part of the wishbone, the largest part of the broken wishbone is said to have their wish granted. Yes, I want to make a wish. Sure, I'll do it. I know what my wish is. Uh, I know what my wish is already. Before you begin, can I talk to you for a second, Becky? Sure. sure. Hold. Mom mm -hmm. pulls Becky aside and speaks to her quietly. You'll just let Parker get the larger part of the wishbone, right? But mom, I have my wish all ready to go. Please, Becky, I really don't want to have to listen to Parker start wailing again. Wait, I find this to be in incredibly in entertaining. I remember when I when I and mom and mom made me let you you have the long, larger end of the wishbone. A few years ago, now have now you have to be on. Be quiet, <coughs> Mom. Yes, you keep your comments to yourself, Garrett. You're not helping this situation, but Becky, Garrett makes a good point. In a few years, we will probably be telling Parker to let Avery have the larger end of the wishbone. Fine, I'll let Parker get the larger part of the wishbone. Becky walks back over to Grandma, who is still in the wishbone. Becky frowns as she touches her side of the wishbone and her head raises her side. Wait a second, let me grab a camera. Grandma! Grandpa gets his camera ready. Okay. Do you both have your wishes ready? Both girls nod their heads. Okay, I'm gonna count to three, and when I say three, you both will tug on the wishbone. One, two, before Grandma even says three, Parker James <laughs> that was not wishbone. It snaps and Parker is left holding the phone with his tongue <laughs> stuck. That's all. That's 
true, Maggie. Your mom hadn't even said the number three yet. I don't think Becky tried to get the larger piece of the wishbone. It just happened. It's not your fault, Becky. Besides, it's time that Parker dealt with a little disappointment. Life isn't always going to go the way she wants. I think it's time for us to go home, Maggie. You don't mind if we abandon you, right? When it's time to wash the dishes, do you think I... You, do you? I think we better get Parker home for a nap. For a nap. For a nap. Before we go to Ben's parents' house this evening. No! I want to stay and play Parker's with Becky! Of course I don't mind. Remember, <laughs> the days of those afternoon meltdowns. I... All too well. Well, get this cleaned up. My best Parker continues to sob. When they open the front door to leave, Parker sits on the floor and refuses to budge. Uncle Ben has to pick Parker up and carry her to the car. Everyone quickly says goodbye and leaves as they drive away. <laughs> to complain about. You didn't have to play Barbies with her or sit by her during dinner. True. I'm just glad she, she left. Becky and Garrett, keep your negative comments about your cousins to yourself. And remember, you weren't always perfect little angels that were fun to be around at the age either. I will say one thing, those wishbones work speedy quick. Within 10 minutes of me making my wish, it came true.